Science Grade 10, Gay Lusak's Law. Our objective is to solve problems on Gay Lusak's Law. Gay Lusak, in his experiment, found out that when the temperature of a sample of gas in a rigid container is increased, the pressure of the gas increases as well. This gas law states that at constant volume, when the temperature of gases increases, its pressure also increases, or vice versa. Now, let's try to solve this sample problem. The pressure of a nitrogen gas inside a rigid tank is 1.5 atmosphere at 30 degrees Celsius. What will be the resulting pressure if the tank is cooled to 0 degrees Celsius? Now, let's try to identify the given in this sample problem. We have P1, which is equal to 1.5 atm, T1, which is equal to 30 degrees Celsius, or when we convert that into Kelvin, that is 303 Kelvin. We also have P2, which is what we're looking for in this problem, and T2, which is equal to 0 degrees Celsius, or 273 Kelvin. And so again, our formula for Gay-Lussac's law is P1 over T1 is equal to P2 over T2. Where P1 is equal to the initial pressure, T1 is the initial temperature, P2 is the final pressure, and T2 is the final temperature. Now let's substitute the given values. P1 is equal to 1.5 atm over T1 which is equal to 303 Kelvin equals P2 which is what we're looking for in this problem and T2 which is equal to 273 Kelvin. Now multiply both sides with the reciprocal of P2 and that is 273 Kelvin over 1. So do the mathematics, and you'll have P2 is equal to 409.5 atm over 303. So dividing that, then you'll have P2 is equal to 1.35 atm. Now, going back to the sample problem that we had earlier, we have P1 is equal to 1.5 atm, T1 is 303 kelvin, P2 is a known, and T2 is 273 Kelvin. As the temperature is decreased from the original temperature, which is 303 Kelvin, to the final temperature, which is 273 Kelvin, its pressure also decreased from P1, which is 1.5 atm, to P2, which is 1.35 atm. <laughs>